EPABX and Intercom. As you have learned in the previous topic, the telephone is a very important part of day-to-day -day communications. This chapter helps you understand how the telephone connects to other telephones, intercoms within the same company as well as how it connects to the rest of the people outside the company premises. Main features of EPABX Intercom calls Making an internal call from one extension to another within the same office. All one needs to do is to pick up his phone and press the numeric extension number of the extension he wish to call within the office. External calls also known as outgoing calls is when a user calls up a number outside the office using a public exchange line to a person in any part of the world. Conference facility this is a feature when more than two internal or external users can talk to each other together at the same time. This can be of two types, internal or external conference. Internal conferences wherein the user are all within the same organization or in the same private exchange EPABX and the external conferences when where one or more users are outside the EPABX call transfer when one extension transfers the call which he is currently talking to another extension within the office then the same is known as call transfer facility. This facility can again be internal call transfer or external call transfer. Automatic call back. This is a feature wherein one can program a called party to automatically call back. Call forwarding. When a user is moving from his desk to another one and wants his calls to come there, then he can program the same by entering a specific numeric code from his or the extension where he wants the call to come and then all the calls which would normally ring on his original desk get diverted to the other place where he has programmed it to be forwarded. Applications and Usage Area EPABX are currently used in particularly all offices having 10 or more or even lesser number of people. Besides, it also finds its usage in residential segment as well. For example, in multi-storied buildings, housing societies, colonies, etc. Disadvantages and limitations of EPABX. EPABX is enabling the communication both enter and intra office much more simpler faster and easier it is increasing the overall efficiency in the office it saves loads of time required to communicate both within the organization and outside the office it also results into a lot of cost reduction as people do not need to travel 
to places for communicating or delivering messages etc. The current technology one can in fact also use certain advanced features and even enable features like video conferring etc through these equipment and thus reduce lots of cost of operations as well. There are however few limitations also in an EPABX as well. All EPABX requires electricity to run the equipment though one can use an UPS for backup. Since it is an advanced electronic equipment therefore it needs careful handling of the equipment. Also it is operated through various numeric codes or function keys and thus one need to avoid playing around with the various instruments unnecessarily as they can change the programming in the equipment and causing problem. It is an equipment which has to be installed and fixed at one place and cannot be transported without the help of a technical person. Cost of maintenance also is on a little higher side though there are very few running costs.